Nearly two years ago, she got a second chance at life, receiving a heart transplant. Well, now the soon-to-be college grad is looking to pay it forward with a career in healthcare. News 6's Amanda Castro spoke with the local student about how she is using her own experience to help others. From patient to caregiver. I mean, it's only been a year and a half. Savannah Nissel says she's not wasting her second chance at life. She was born with a heart condition. I was born with something called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Growing up asymptomatic, but not living a full life. Things like playing sports, uh, running around at recess, I would always get told, hey, don't run, you need to slow down, you need to sit down, take a deep breath. Until she turned 19 and was told by doctors her heart only had a few years left. She went on the transplant list during the height of the coronavirus pandemic, almost getting a heart, but then she contracted COVID. I found out that I was COVID positive about five minutes after receiving a call saying that they had a match for me on a heart. After 77 days on the wait list, Nissel finally got her new heart in September of 2020, undergoing the transplant at Advent Health Orlando. And that was the moment her life and her future changed forever. And I remember talking to my doctor after the surgeon who did my transplant and I said, hey, you did a really awesome job on uh, the scar on my chest. And he was like, oh, that wasn't me. That was one of my PAs. And I realized pretty much in that moment I, that that sounds really awesome. I think I might like to do that for myself. A year after her surgery, she enrolled at Kaiser University. She's graduating on Friday with an associate's degree in medical assisting with the goal of becoming a physician assistant. It's an honor to be a part of it and, and to watch her growth and development. I'm excited for her future. Even getting on the job training from the same transplant institute that saved her life using her experience to help others who are going through the same journey. Show them that there is a path after this and that things will become okay again. While never forgetting the sacrifice that helped her get to where she is today. I still think of my donor every day, all day. I think about them, especially on a day like today because this is such a huge milestone for me and it's one that absolutely would never have been possible without their sacrifice. In Orlando, Amanda Castro getting results, News 6.